Okay, so I'm back from college for the weekend and it's time to work on a quick project and uh, see if we can get it done in just a couple days. The uh, goal for this project is starting the hydraulic system of the T51 Mustang. So for um, uh, so what we're gonna do is uh, on the T51 Mustang, the gear is basically the only hydraulic system, aside from the brakes, uh, the gear is the only hydraulic system that we have. And uh, this is the reservoir uh, for that hydraulic uh, fluid. And this is the pump that we're gonna be using too to raise and lower the gear. So uh, the pump and uh, reservoir, we've actually already installed that. And the next step is to start running fittings to the tailwheel, which is actually right next to it. Um, and then uh, running lines and fittings all the way up to where the center section is going to be, which is basically below, uh, right under the cockpit. And that's pretty much where we can end it since we haven't mounted the center section yet. So the goals for this project is going to be uh, running um, these T bulkhead fittings, where basically one end will go up uh, to uh, the right under the cockpit, which is where the main gear is going to be. And then the top is going to come over um, right next to the tail wheel and that'll let us get hydraulic pressure to all three uh, gear. So let's start that project and see how far we can get. Okay so the first step in the process is going to be mounting these fittings, there's three of them, to the pump and this is how we're going to transition from the pump to our first hard lines. So you can see one side is a uh, pipe thread and the other side is the um, fitting necessary to attach the uh, quarter inch hard line which is where the hydraulic fluid is going to flow through. So we're going to be focusing on the pipe thread side of this. We're going to be putting on this uh, thread sealant. We put a little bit of that onto the pipe thread side, turn it in by hand and then uh, add about um, two to three more threads on top of that to give us the necessary torque. So we're going to do that and then uh, start running those hard lines. Okay, so the fittings are in for uh, both the up, down, and return line. And I have gone ahead and uh, bent this our first hard fitting. Um, and this is gonna be for the down line. Just grabbing the tool really quick. We use this tool um, that we were able to find and it actually does a really, really good job for multiple sizes of um, hard line and it gives us a really nice uh, 90 degree bend or 45 degree bend, um, whatever uh, you may need. And then to cut it, we ended up using uh, this cutting tool. It's very common in the aviation industry. And that's what we use to cut the line. Then we went ahead and uh, we actually already did this. Um, filed the end, deburred it uh, just slightly, and then just used some scotch Bright for the outside. So now it is ready um, to flare it. So uh, what flaring does is um, uh, we're able to fit it to the fitting and then a nut goes over it and securely tights uh, or tightens the um, uh, tube to the fitting. So we're going to go ahead and flare both sides. We're going to remember to put the um, fitting, the inside fittings over the tube before we do this. 
and then we'll go ahead and do that for all three lines. Okay, so we got uh, one half of the fittings already on and now it's time to flare. So I'm gonna grab the tool. So basically we can set how big the hole is. So in this case we're gonna do quarter inch. We're gonna put this all the way to the stop. Get that down, move that over. That looks pretty good. Okay, now what we're gonna do is spin this thing. It's basically gonna push out the flare. Okay, so unfortunately the camera died, but we have one of the flares done. And uh, so I'll show you how to do the second flare. So we're gonna take our tool, put it through the quarter inch fitting all the way to the stop. Okay, so it's to the stop. Now we can take off the stop, crank this bad boy down a little bit. And then we're just gonna wash out the flare by spinning this. And with that tool, we have two flares complete. So I'm just gonna go over with scotch bright the outside of both of these, and then we will put the fittings in place. Okay, so just a couple of turns, this thing is in. It's looking good, so basically we just need to make three more. Uh, they're all a little bit different, so I can't just duplicate it. One, the return line is a little bit longer, and then we actually have a bar that you can't see um, in the shot right now, but there's actually a bar that's crossing, so we'll have to divert away from that a little bit. So uh, we'll get the three done, and then we will move on to the next bulkhead.
Okay, and that wraps up this part of the build. Uh, we are able to finish up the hydraulic system up until uh, where the back of the center section is gonna be because uh, once we mount the center section, then we can start really taking the hydraulic lines up to the main gear. But uh, we have it linked to the tail uh, to the tail wheel right now. And uh, I think it went really, really well. We were able to get the hard lines in and uh, all ready to go. So with that, we're a little bit closer into the hydraulic system of the T51 Mustang. And with that, uh, stay tuned into more of our YouTube videos and make sure you check out socialflight.com and the free mobile app. We have tens of thousands of aviation events and every Tuesday at eight o'clock PM Eastern time, we have Social Flight Live and we have uh, tons of guests that we had in the past, um, as well as tons of guests scheduled for the future. So make sure you stick uh, in tune to that. So with that, I'm Jake Simon, Blue Skies. Thank you.